This video is sponsored by Helix. Wait a minute. What's that? Helix has a new sister company called Allform. This video is sponsored by Allform. I'm so excited to introduce you to Allform. Um, I was really excited when the company launched. Um, obviously, you guys have been hearing me talk about Helix forever. It is the mattress that I sleep on. I love it very, very much. So when Helix reached out to me, they told me that they have a new sister company called Allform that makes American-made sofas, chairs, ottomans. I was like, send it, send it over. Send it over right now. That is what I need in my life. Um, I've always been so happy with Helix's quality and comfort. I feel like it's only natural that they do other things in that realm as well. Mattresses to couches. It's a good pipeline. A good pipeline. So the first thing I had to do was decide what I wanted, which was actually easier than I thought because all of all form sofas and chairs, they're modular. So that means that say you're in a small apartment right now, um, you might move to a bigger space instead of getting rid of your smaller couch and having to buy a whole other new one, you could add on a section, add a sectional if you like to spread your legs out, you can get an ottoman, that's what I did. Um, and so I had this space in my stream room. I had just kind of put a really cheapy throwaway kind of couch back there because I thought I didn't have a lot of space and so I had to just get something kind of like dinky and small. Never really sat on it. It wasn't that comfortable. It was kind of just for show. <laughs> I have to say, I was so pleasantly surprised when my all form came in the mail. It ships fast and free. I filmed Ben assembling it because I was like, oh, I have to get this footage for YouTube. So I made Ben do it, but I, I could have done it myself. It took us about no less, like no more than 15 minutes. Boom, bam, new couch. And oh my goodness, it's amazing. It really is. I love it so much. So all all form sofas and chairs are scratch and stain resistant. I went for their leather option because of sateen mostly and because I kind of liked the look of it in the background. I thought it'd be sleeker. I had a black fabric couch and I was like, let me switch to black leather. Great choice by me. Pat myself on the back. It is so comfortable, first of all. And I tried to show you in the video a little bit, but the depth of the seat is so big. I can, I can like actually lounge on this couch. I can sit on this couch, sink into it, lay down. I love it. And <laughs> I filmed most of these clips while Satine was not at home, but Satine is absolutely obsessed. She almost never really went on the old couch, but she pretty much lives on the new one. Um, and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now that I have really sat on it and used it for quite a few weeks, I can very confidently say I am so happy with the quality, I'm so happy with how it looks, and two giant thumbs up to all form. Uh, so happy to be sponsored by them. It's great to have something in your house that you love and use and be able to talk about that. If it makes you nervous to buy something online that you haven't personally like sat in or touched or felt, I totally get it. And I'm happy to say that Allform has a 100 day trial. So you can get it shipped to your door for free, try it for over three months. And if you don't like it, they'll come pick it up for you and you get a full refund. So go to allform.com slash GV to get 20% off the sofa of your choice. If you're curious, the exact model I got, it was the black leather love seat with matching ottoman, and I chose the natural legs along with my two red fabric pillows. Thank you so much, Allform, for sponsoring today's video, and thank you for watching. Hello everybody, it's Chibi. Welcome back to my channel, where I have chosen to humiliate myself in front of all of you in the form of 
standardized testing. I bought myself a how do you rank IQ test and thought it would be such a fun idea to take the test on camera and since I'm filming this far enough in advance, I have no idea how long it takes for the results to come back. I really don't know. But I will, in this video, let you know my results so we can all see how smart is GB. <laughs> um, let me open the box for you because actually the test is online. I just have to slide this sleeve off. This is the first test, is getting the sleeve off. And what comes in here is just like a little, basically, like book booklets and stuff. But it makes it wrappable for gift purposes, I suppose. Um, so there's a little pamphlet. on IQ and intelligence in general. It is, uh, you know, and kind of simply put, there's no like, there's like a bunch of brain facts here, no citations on any of them. This seems very like casual in terms of an IQ test. So I was like, okay. There are many ways to measure intelligence, but perhaps the most well-known, the IQ test. IQ tests are designed to measure a person's cognitive ab ability via a collection of standardized questions. So they, they do say a little bit about intelligence up here, and um, while intelligence can be defined as the ability to acquire knowledge and skills, which help us to adapt to our environment, IQ tests are very effective at measuring certain forms of intellect, such as spatial intelligence. Other forms of intelligence are harder to measure. Like, you know, we have creative intelligence, social intelligence, emotional intelligence, logical intelligence, etc. Um, there are things that we deem as being smart, whereas like, if you can solve a really hard math problem, that's very easy way to say, oh, well, you're smart because you could do that. Um, but we see people in our lives all the time that can't do a math problem, but can do something else that we would never be able to do because we don't have that type of intelligence. Um, so it's very different across the board. Uh, a lot of people are very bad test takers for a variety of reasons. Uh, for example, I had undiagnosed ADHD for my entire however many years at school, and along with that, um, the psychologist that did my ADHD test does heavily suspect that I have some form of, like, simply put, like, math dyslexia. So, I've always, um, said that I'm very, very bad at math, and I think it's true. Um, for some reason, whenever I tried to do math problems, I was in school, whatever, there was this block in my brain where I just couldn't grasp the concepts. Or if I did, I had to use like maximum brain power to like hold on to my the concept, like and just enough to like do the problem. And then, God forbid, you ask me to do it the next day, kind of thing. So I've always strayed away from math and numbers and that kind of thing. ADHD wise, I uh, had a horrible time paying attention in class, um, had a horrible time reading textbooks, had a horrible time listening to lectures. So I get super bored and distracted about pretty much anything. I did do okay in school. Um, the sort of like a uh, necessity would kick in, like something would be due and I would do it the night before. If I was super passionate or excited about a project, I would absolutely nail it. Like, that that kind of thing. So I'm sure some of you can relate. I just was not much of a studier, you know? Um, kind of relied on... I don't know. I would, like, do fine without studying, so I just, like, 
wouldn't study and then I went to college and I was like oh no <laughs> I did okay in college I graduated um, I did not win any intellectual awards but I also realized that there are more important things than I, I had no plans to go to grad school or anything like that um, I was surprised I went to college <laughs> but yeah as long as I was taking classes that I was interested in and it, to me it was more about the subject matter that I was learning and less about how I was performing on tests and papers and things like that so um, I wouldn't spend too much time on studying and I did spend a lot of time on like projects or socializing or you know other things but now I'm gonna put myself through it again I'm gonna take the IQ test so we have instructions here um, we'll go over them briefly right before we start uh, your gift explained so it's for anyone over the age of 13 we're gonna take it online and I have 120 minutes to complete your test I hope to God it's not gonna take that long I'm a very fast test taker because I either know it or I don't that's how I would function in school so I would like hand my paper in first and people are like oh my god like you you did so well and I'm like no no I just didn't know it so I would just move on you know I'm, I was not the type of person to sit there and try to remember again my working memory is terrible so I wouldn't bother I would just hand it in and then go read a book or something okay we have our IQ test the secrets to a healthy brain read meditate sleep exercise puzzles and music oh, will do will do it also comes with a phrenology poster i did not open this yet picture of good health mm -hmm. we have moral reflectives perceptive self-perfecting aspiring animal and domestic okay well this is interesting I'll take a peek at that later maybe in another video or something i don't know and then the last thing was I had some puzzles. They said to warm up with these puzzles. I did this yesterday to see what I was getting myself into. Uh, I immediately felt overwhelmed. I was like, because I, I didn't know it right off the bat. So I was like, I must not know it at all. But then I realized it is more about thinking. And it wasn't like a, you memorize this for two weeks and now you have to take a test on it. This is, you do have to sit and think and ponder. So couple of the questions here was like to rearrange these these sets of letters into two words that have similar meanings and it took me forever but I did finally get necessary and essential um this one was to like add up all the odd numbers that had even numbers following them I did get that right it was 29 um, a writing instrument or an animal enclosure I'm like oh that's a pen that one was easy this was one of the pattern ones. I did get that right. Then down here, um, these really intimidate me because again, I feel like I'm not very good with math or numbers, so I like give up immediately. But what I ended up doing was adding up the rows and adding up the columns, and I realized that each one was divisible by three. That was like the first pattern that I held on to even though I didn't really find a pattern in what the numbers were but I did see that in order to make numbers that would also be divisible by 3 this would have to be 8 so I wrote 8 and that was the correct answer and then I asked Ben and he said he noticed that each last two numbers I might be doing it the wrong way each last two numbers did add up to the final number here so like 3 plus 4 equals 7 etc so he said he would have said 5 plus 3 is 8, ignoring these numbers, I guess. I don't know. This one I did give up on because I had other things to do. I had no idea how to find the answer to this, so I did not. And then there are some Sudoku puzzles at the bottom that, again, 
I did not do. So, time for the IQ test. Here we go. Just, um, since it's online, I'll just share my screen. And then I have a pen and notebook. It says you're not allowed to use a calculator, but it didn't say anything about like scratch paper because I do really need to write things down. It's impossible for me to hold it in my brain. I don't know if you're like that, but it's impossible for me to like hold things in my brain. That's why I really like calculators. I really like or calculators. I really like calendars. I really like to-do lists because I will immediately forget stuff. Okay. I should not be interrupted when I'm completing my task, my test. Um, so hopefully the planes will cooperate. 120 minutes. It has 40 questions. You should keep this time limit. Otherwise, your assessment rating will be invalid. You cannot use calculators, and you can't ask people for help. That's all the rules. Okie dokie. So let me set this up. Make sure my audio is still recording. You know, I will say, I have since been diagnosed with ADHD. I am prescribed Vyvanse. Let's see if that will help me. I did take my Vyvanse dose this morning. Maybe it'll help me concentrate and unlock my true potential. Because I know there's some intelligence in there, you know? Something. Okay. Little registration details. Dr. Professor GB. I'm gonna get a certificate. I feel like I don't have to tell them any of this information. You know? I'm gonna do Master GB Asthma. Address North Pole. Like, I don't want them to send me anything. You don't need my address. You know? Just put in my email. Blah, blah, blah. Birthday. 19. December 94. You could pick up to 1890. God bless. I don't want the certificate. Oh my god. It's fine. Mm, no, no, no. Do not contact me. Oh my god, they're so annoying. I hate filling this kind of stuff out. Okay. It's so tedious. Okay. Continue. You know what's the worst? It's when you reset your password and then, like, they make you sign in again. <sighs> okay. Master GB ASMR. Perfect. Okay, it does say that I'm allowed to have scratch paper. So I'm going to start recording my screen now. I'm gonna move this mic a little bit because it's kind of, no, I can just move this over. Intelligence. New screen recording. Record. Selected portion, I guess. Do -do -do. And then I'll make my 
herself into a little box. Okay, here I go. Okay, I am now hopefully tiny, and you can see the screen here. Let's do it, okay. Okay. Begin. Welcome to IQ Test. Warm up your brain with these puzzles. I already warmed up with these puzzles, so I'm good. I'm set. Those are the same puzzles in there. What number should we- oh, we're starting. <laughs> we're starting. One of no, 40. What number should we replace the question mark to continue the sequence? I hate these so much. Okay. 0, 0, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21. I'm stressed. Actually, this is actually very stressful because I'm being filmed, but I'm going to try to forget that I'm being filmed. Otherwise, I definitely won't do as well. So the fact that there's two zeros right after each other makes me think that you're doing, like you're adding, adding zero, adding one, adding two, adding three, adding four, adding five, adding six. Yes, add seven should be 28 is the answer. Boom. And they did say that you won't gain any IQ points if you finish fast, so I'll take my time. Delta is to triangle as volute. I've never heard that word in my life. Okay, so delta I know is a Greek letter and it is a triangle. And you can also know that because the delta logo, like the Delta Airlines. <sighs> so I do know that, but I don't know what a volume is. Volume is to pentagon, spiral, wheel, helmet, or ring. I mean, I want to say pentagon because it's another shape, and so I'm thinking about, you know, like, volume sounds like volume. None of that really helps me, like, maybe helmet. <laughs> but I think educated guess. See, I, I, I'm gonna go educated guess Pentagon and, like, move on with my life. I don't sit here and contemplate for the rest of my life. I can also make sure it's, like, one, two, three, four, five letters in Delta. And one, two, three, four, five, six letters in volume. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters in triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters in pentagon, but that doesn't help either. I don't love pentagon as an answer, but. Oh well. Which word in brackets is more opposite in meaning to the word in capitals? Okay, so this is kind of like general knowledge. Okay, to assent to something. I would think it would be refusal, because when you assent to something, the opposite is to dissent. And I'm usually thinking about this in like a, like a court context, right? I'm like a little thrown off, it's like maybe I'm thinking of it the wrong way and the opposite is actually affirmation, but I believe it's refusal and I'm gonna move on. E what are the next two figures in this sequence? Okay, so... We have the middle circle, and then we have one, two, three, four rings. So we have four rings, no rings, three rings, it's like so hard to see, though. one ring, two ring. So they're all different numbers, four, zero, three, one, two. No, 
only thing I can really think of is like the three subtracted by one and you get two. But the four subtracted by zero, you don't get three. One plus two is three. I think maybe the one right before this first four could have been another four. So it'd be like four, four, zero, three, one, two. It doesn't really help though, because I don't know how we get from zero to three. Um, and then the answers are making me a little confused. The ones that have like the big lines around them, I immediately think that these, that cannot be the answer. We like maximize the shape, then we went all the way down, then we went right to the middle, and then into the middle. And then, oh, okay, okay, so maybe it's more like that. We're going all the way out to all the way down. Little, little, da. So then maybe it's gonna go back to one. I don't know if it would go out to two though. All the way out, all the way in. Three, one, two. Maybe it's two again. But I guess I don't know where you would go from there. It would stick at two then. Because I feel like it's either the two one or the one two. I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm only on question four, but I'm definitely stuck on that. The other one I'm thinking, like, obviously could be the zero to three again. I'm really stuck on that, where it's like going out to in, to lesser, to lesser, to lesser. But there's nowhere to go from the two. Either to two again. But then why would it go to one after that? Unless it starts over again, unless it like goes backwards the other way. I feel like we have to do that. I'm gonna write these down so I can remember it. Unless we're going back the other way. And that would be the pattern going the other way. So it'd be like four zero three one two two one three zero four would be the sequence. Here comes a plane, but oh well. There's gonna be plane sounds in this video, you know? Um, because I can't stop the timing of this test. Oh no. Which is the missing section? One, two, three, five, eight, three, one, four, five, nine. Okay, so the numbers get up quite high, all the way up to 43. And they're definitely getting higher and higher as we go down. Like we have 8, 9, 17, 26, 43, 5, 5, 10, something, 25. And this, the 5, 5, 10, blank 25. Looks friendly. One, three, four, seven. Ooh. Nine plus seventeen is twenty-six. Three plus four is seven. Five plus ten, fifteen. So the fifteen. So it's pr most likely these here. One plus three is four. So it would only mean that this could be the answer. Let's see. Four plus seven is eleven. So I'm just gonna go with this. I don't need to like confirm the rest of it. Did truce is an anagram of two this and that words cut and dried homely ink is an anagram of which two other this and that words so cut and dried I'm thinking like up and down in and out cut and dried is kind of 
Okay, so I'm gonna put the E, U, and I are our only vowels for the first one. Then we have D, D, T, R, C. So we always have to share some values here. Tried and true. I bet you anything. T, R, I, E, D. <laughs> no. Tried and true would have been such a good one. We definitely have the words for tried. We definitely have the words for true. It's truces right there. Um, maybe tried and could. That's unfortunately not a saying that I know of. <laughs> true and... T-R-U-E. We have C-I D-D-T left and I I think we can't take... We can't make a word out of that, so... Oh man. I was so excited. Die... Dice... And... Turd. Dice and turd. Anyone? Ice and... Dry. Well, cut and dry was already one. Oh, it, re it literally is cut and dry. They were giving me an example. They were giving me an example. Okay. Okay, because I thought there was two answers. Oh, they are doing two of them. I'm so... It's fine. <laughs> okay, so for Homely Ink, we have O, E, and I, and Y as our vowels. H, M, L, N, K. Ho and Linky. Um, my... Is it milk and honey? Milk and honey? Right? Homely ink, milk and honey. M. M. I. L. K. Milk. H. O. N. E. Y. Okay. That took me. That wasted so much of my time for no reason. Okay. Good God. Looking in straight lines, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, what number? is three places away from itself multiplied by two. Okay. This is where the vivance shines. What number is three places away from itself multiplied by two? Three places away from itself plus four. Three places away from itself divided by three. And two places away from itself less one. So we can actually, I want to work backwards here and find any number that has two places away from itself less one and go from there. It's almost like a, what's it called? Process of elimination here. So we do have to remember that it's horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. We can do this quick. We we'll start with 22. And, but my question is, is it every two places away it's like that? Or I just need one of them? So for 22, we're looking for 21, somewhere around it, and it's just not there. 
18, we do have one spot where 18 is less itself. Oh, is less itself than one. So I'm going to check another one. Three places away from itself multiplied by two. And 18 multiplied by two is 36. 36 isn't even on this board, so 18's out. Okay, 14. We're looking for 13 surrounding it somewhere, and it's not. Eight, 19, we're looking for 18 surrounding itself, and we do have an 18 there. So 18, or 19, divided by 2 is 38. 38 isn't even on this board. 8, we're looking for 7s around it. No 7s around it. 6, we're looking for 5s around it. Not The 5 is not close enough to it. 24, we're looking for 23s around it. Nope. 30, we're looking for 29s around it. No. 3, we're looking for 2s around it. Yes, we do have a 2. Um, 3 divided by two, or three multiplied by 2 is 6. And we're looking for a 6. 3 places away from it, which it does have. So then the next one is three places away from itself plus four. So we're looking for seven to be three places away from it. It is one more shot and we have our answer. Two places away from itself less one. Oh, that's the one we already did. Three places away from itself multiplied by two. Three places away from itself plus four. Three places away from itself divided by three. So we're looking for a one. Boom, we have it. It's in the bottom diagonal here. So the answer is three. Next question. Oh no. <laughs> Which is the missing circle? Christ. Okay. So I'm looking at the connectors here. We do have some connect that are open circles, and we do have some connect that are, I will say, open, closed, open, closed, open, open. So there's really no pattern there that I can see. Three, three, two, two, three. Three, two, three, three. Oh no. Okay. So far, no pattern is jumping out at me. I do see when this, like, I'm looking at the bottom right two circles. It seems when they are turned. It's also flipped. It's turned and flipped. Same with the top two. So we have close, open, open. We turn it, it should be close, open, open, but it's flipped, open, open, closed. So we turn it 90 degrees, and then we flip it 180 degrees. Let's see if that works for the bottom one. So boom, 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 and let's see. So the first two, we're turning it this way, 90 degrees, so you could say almost, so negative 90 degrees. And then the bottom two, close, close, open. We're turning it. Actual 90 degrees. And it should be close, close, open. But we're also flipping it 180 degrees. And I mean, you can't really tell which, which way it's flipping. You would be flipping it over on the other side. So let's look at the twos here. The twos we have simply 90 degrees and no flip on the top row. And then we're adding a third and on the bottom there's no flip at all. That 
was not the pattern. That was not the pattern to be looking for. It doesn't make any sense. On the top row, with one set have three dots, two of them are open. On the bottom row, the ones that have three dots, the dots are closed. Two dots are closed. We always have an open and a close with the twos. None of them are repeating. So it could simply be answer number four because it's not repeating, you know? But none of these answers are repeating, I think. But it does fulfill the requirement of having two, two dots on the bottom. <laughs> So I want to say, like, I'm very drawn to four because I just want it to be four. I don't want to think anymore about what, what was the reason? I will say we pick number four. We have that and then we turn it. And the one on the top, we have that and we turn it. So it really still is turning negative. Like the top, you turn it negative, turn it negative. The bottom, you turn it positive. But I just don't like... I don't like this because it's backwards. Like, I don't understand the ends here. Like, I don't know why there's not an even number of circles. Like the threes go together and the twos go together. The threes go together. There's a random, th there's a random three here. Are we just like inverting it? But why? Why? Why this to this? And why this to this? If we have black dot here. I just need to pick four and move on with my life. That one was hard. If you guys want to know what that one was, let me know. Which is the missing tile? Okay. All right. The vibe answer did not help me. The vibe answer helped me with the one before it. That was good. Okay. Mega circle line dot line bullseye circle. I don't even know what to call these. Open circle dot. Girl, I have no idea. I am not good with patterns. My tiny monkey brain. Circle, circle, dot. Now you have the cootie shot. So we have a couple of repetitions here. We have these two are repeating and these two are repeating. And I will say like the two lines are touching diagonal and the two open circles are touching diagonal. But then we have these bigger ones here. These do match. So I don't think that has anything to do with it though because I'm gonna put my foot up. You know, you gotta sit on your foot sometimes. It makes you smarter. Like L. Oh my gosh, I should sit like L. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna sit up on your feet like this. It makes you smarter. Okay. Let's see. I do feel like... Okay, so some of the answers do have a combination. But in such a weird way. 
like none of the lines and none of the like none of the columns or none of the rows have anything in common but big circle minus the line equals the dot big circle combined with the line equals that dot the line take away the dot? But why is the circle small? The circle would be big. The line creates the dot. <laughs> oh, I despise this. Whatever it is, it's dot combined with small circle equals something. And it is true. That's what it is. Line plus the middle one equals circle. Line plus the middle one equals circle. So what does dot plus middle one equal? Something new. Okay. No, we have the answer. Because we also have line plus middle one equals dot. This is almost like an algebraic equation here. It's like, here we go. It's n plus n equals n. So this, I'm going to do like a little equation here. With that, Plus that equals that. And we know that to be true. And that plus this equals that. Then, oh, and this. No. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then, the question we're asking is dot plus circle equals question mark. We have our constant, which is our line. So, this circle equals dot minus line, and this circle equals circle minus line. <laughs> you know? feel it. I'm so, I'm close. Like, I can feel it that I am on to something. Like, I'm thinking about it the right way. I just, I, I need to... Well, let's try to get the circle on its own here. Circle equals this question mark thing minus the dot, perhaps. And the other thing we know is that the circle will also then equal Maybe we need to know, figure out what line is. Oh my Christ. Bum. I'm gonna have to make line something else. I'm gonna make it a squiggle because I can't do this anymore. 
plus squiggle equals dot and squiggle plus this equals this. So I need to figure out what squiggle is instead. So squiggle equals circle minus bigger circle with filled hole and I never really understood how to do this. Hey, can I just subtract that there? Is that fine? <laughs> can I just subtract it? Doesn't matter what order it's in. This is what I can't remember. Squiggle also equals dot minus open thing. So those are equal. Dot and open thing are equal. Small circle are equal. It's not helping me. It's not helping me at all. Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated because I really do want to get this right. So our answer is not the third or sixth because I believe it's a new thing. Or maybe it's not a new thing. Maybe it's, no, maybe it's answer four, or maybe, maybe it is four or six. Maybe they're trying to throw you here, and the answer is four or six, because the dot, if the line is equivalent to some sort of zero, I guess that wouldn't make much sense. Frick, I really want to get this one right because I've already invested so much time into it. This is very algebraic though and I, I can't. I'm not going to finish this. Oh no, I feel like I have to guess. Dot, circle. I'm on to something. It's really throwing me. The shapes are throwing me so hard. Maybe I need to not do addition, like maybe it's multiplication. This, this equals this. But that would be like dividing it, which is really terrible. It's like if this, this equals that, and that, that equals that, then... Okay, so basically we're taking the two answers. When you combine those answers, what are you getting? I would assume we're getting something new, right? But I don't know if there's any possible way for me to know what the shape is supposed to be. Which then leads me to, leave that, to believe that it's going to be something different. I feel like I have to pick the open circle because it's almost like it's functioning as zero. No. Oh man, I'm so upset. I don't know. Oh, this is not a very relaxing video. I'm sorry. Oh, I really wanted to figure this one out. 
Did we go up this way though? Like maybe I'm missing a... Maybe I'm missing a... Maybe it's this. Because at least that would combine all three of them that are in the middle. Not even. No, not even. I'm proud of myself for picking up the pattern, but I just can't follow through, I think. I can't follow through on what the answer is supposed to be. I do wonder if it's answer four, because like, that plus the circle is the dot. That plus the circle is the dot. That plus the line is the dot. That plus the line is the dot. So that doesn't make sense. That could make sense. No, it wouldn't be four because circle and that is line. So circle and that would could not it cannot be number four. It cannot be number four. Because circle in this is equal to line. It's not equal to this. But is circle and circle equal to dot? I have no way of knowing. I don't know how to know if it's this or one of these rando ones. I think we have to click six and go on. Oh my gosh, that was upsetting. That was upsetting. Okay. Place a word in the brackets has the same meaning as the definitions. <sighs> Milk. <laughs> I think it's a bullet, a bullet journal and a cartridge for a gun. I'm not very well versed on like ma like a magazine, you know what I mean? Like a cartridge, like a bullet journal is the only thing I can think of, like any other like gun type things. Moving on. What's the missing tile? I'm upset with you. I'm upset with this test. Okay. Four, three, one, two, one, three, two. Okay. Yeah, all four bottom left, top right. Two, all are open. Are there any repeats at all? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm mad. And this is only question 11. I'm mad. My IQ is actively dropping as we speak, but I really do want to try. Okay. What's the missing tile? We have all four. We're starting with a perfect four. We've now lost a half line. We've lost three half lines. We lost one half line. We lost three half lines. Then do we gain half? line, lose a half line, gain two half lines. Switch one of the half lines. 
Switch it out of there. And girly, I don't know, girly. I am. Okay, wait. Middle one here. The middle, the middle column. The bottom two make up the top one. <gasps> the bottom two make up the top one. The bottom two make up the top one. How does that make sense? How does that third one make sense? If you combine the bottom two, you get the top one. But how do you combine in these first two columns? The sum of the bottom two, the bottom two rows of that column, is equal to the top one. But how the heckies would that work here? Because this one has more lines. I wonder if it taketh away. Like, I wonder if it's answer number five, because that taketh away. We need to take away those lines. But why is this one operating on a completely different... That's my suspicion, and I need to confirm it, probably. So let's see if there's any, like, um, patterns with the rows. Yeah, so this minus that equals that. This plus that equals that. Oh, shoot. Top row. Top row take away the second line and you get the third line. Oh no. Middle row. Add the second line and you get the third. Middle one. Take it away and you do get this. It's like take add, kind of. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. I'm like 90% there. I can't like proof prove it. But I did conclude, I did come to number five as my solution twice. So I'm gonna go with it. Okay, let me make sure my audio is still going. Dang, it's been an hour. I am not cruising through these. Which word in brackets is closest in meaning to the word in capitals? Scrupulous. That means you are like as frick. See, I think I'm getting tricked here because I feel like you hear the word scrupulous with the word cleaning. I think that clean is the trick answer here, like scrupulous cleaning, which is like really, I cannot remember for the life of me what fastidious means. I just want to look it up so bad. I'm like, oh, what's up? I think scrupulous means like intense, like it's like very detailed. So inquiring, probing, probing and inquiring are so close. I feel like it can't be either of those because Refractory? I can't exactly remember what it means, like dictionary definition, but I think it's not that. I almost want to go with fastidious because I think I'm going with fastidious if it's clean. I got bamboozled. Maybe I'm thinking too hard. I'll have to go back and look at it later. Oh, what's the missing section? Great. Okay. We have some diagonal lines, and we do have some repetition here, so hopefully that can give us some clues. Like, 
Like we do have two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those. I think so. I think we're missing a triple line, a forward slash, and then we're also missing one of those. The box up here, the third box, we're missing that third box. So let's see if there are. Oh no, there's three of these. Four of those. I will say, these are the ones that we are missing. I kind of need to like zoom on this IQ test. So I might take that pattern and run with it. Which is if I pick these, we would have an even number of all of the shapes in this section. And therefore I'm going to go with that and not question it any further. What two letters should replace the question marks in the sequence below? I'm going to write down the whole alphabet, I believe. Cursor, but I, there's no S. Pre. Corrode. These, I feel like, are kind of weird to have. We do have two R's, huh? I have corputer, corputer as a word. I do, I do like the word pre, but I don't like that they have pre listed out, kind of as like the first line. I feel like that's, so it wouldn't be pre. Yeah, it's 
spell the word deuce. <laughs> we also have the word pro. Producer, pro, produce. We have an extra e. Producir. A producer. We have the word producer, and that's gonna bother me now. All right, I guess it's time to do the top word. We have the word pain. Paint. Painter. A painter and a producer. You know, we do have P R O again here. Pro Pro Ne Pro Pro Nadio. Man, this one has a lot of vowels. I feel stuck. Like I have to figure this one out before I move on and I feel like we're running out of time because I'm taking forever. I'm very bad at these by the way. I feel like some people are so smart at these. Like I hate those little like word games. I think we have to combine some of these vowels up here otherwise there's going to be too many vowels. There is a possibility for a T-I-O-N ending here. That's good. I have to rip this paper out one second. O, A, and E would be left over if we do a T-I-O-N ending. And just the letters P and R And it might be Asian. Paration. Rep. Reparation. No, there's only one R. Rope. Because it'd be T I A N as well. Wait, I'm missing a letter. Oh, I'm missing an extra O. Okay. So it's T-I-O-N, but we also do have an extra O. This is not a very fun video. Per Preoation. Maybe I should get off the TIO and I just thought it would be good to utilize the multiple vowels. Ha 
inspiration. This is upsetting again. Operation? Operation? Operation. I have like all these. <laughs> Does operation fit? O P E R A T I O N. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Operation? The T-I-O-N saved me. Okay. Let's assume the first one's operation. Procedure. I have producer. Procedure. Procedure has one E in the middle, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, procedure is P-R-O-C-E-D-U-R-E. Procedure. Operation and procedure. Okay, I did it. I did it. Next question. How many minutes is it before 12 noon? 40 minutes ago, it was four times as many minutes past 10 a.m. I'm so upset. And the worst part is like working with minutes and hours is there's 60 minutes instead of 100. Okay. I don't really understand the question here because... I don't know what they mean by past. Like, okay, so they're saying, okay, so if I just like made up a number, if it's 40 minutes till noon, right? And then 40 minutes to noon is 11.20 a.m. And then take 40 minutes away from that which is 10.40. It was four times as many minutes past 10 a.m. So that doesn't work because 40 times four is a massive amount of numbers. So it's gonna be a smaller number. That one actually might work if it's 10. If it's 10 minutes before noon, no, not quite. Let's try it anyway. <laughs> if it's 10 minutes before noon, that means it's 11.50. At 11.10, how many minutes is that from 10 a.m.? 70. And then 10 times 4 is not 70. I almost want to. Okay, let's try it. So 40 was a big number. 10 was a smaller number. What if we try an even smaller number? Like what if it's what if it's 2 minutes to noon? Okay. So it's 11:58. 40 minutes ago, it was 11 18. And then how many minutes ago is that away from 60 plus 18 is 78. But two minutes times four is eight and not 78. So like, how do I get it closer? How do I get it closer? Do I make the number bigger or smaller? 
try the 40 one again because I'm definitely confusing myself. Let me just think about this for one second. Let me do the 40 again. So it's pretending that it's 40 minutes to noon. That puts us on 1120. Then you have to subtract 40 again, which puts us at 1040. Right? And that's 40 minutes past 10. So that equals to zero. So I actually think we need a bigger number because the smaller numbers are giving me huge numbers. The 40 gave me right in the middle. So if we get a bigger number. But that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's try. It's set. It doesn't make any sense. Let's try. If it's 70 minutes to noon, that means the time is 10 because 60 minutes would be 11. 70 minutes would be 10, 50. So that's what time it is. Now we're gonna subtract 40 minutes from that. So 40 minutes ago, as in 10, 10. So it's 10 minutes past 10. Multiply that by four. Okay, we're getting closer, I think. This is, I know this is not the most efficient way to do this, but this is the only way I can do this right now. We're getting closer. So we need a bigger number than 40. Let's try 50. <laughs> so if it's 50 minutes to noon, that means it's 11.10. And you subtract 40 minutes from that. It'd be 10.30, right? Yeah. So it's 30 minutes, 30 times four. No, I'm getting way farther away. I'm not, though. It's 120. I hate this one. I'm definitely missing something. I know I could probably make, like, an equation to figure it out. You know? I feel like I need to make an equation to figure it out, but I... If, okay, if I did make an equation, I'm not gonna set this up right. I just know I'm not. I had such trouble with this. So we have the minus 40. I can't do it. I can't, I can't make an equation. I refuse. I have to simply guess. I have to plug and play. Okay, so the one that we was actually mildly close was the 10 minute one. So I think that was 70 minutes. I mean, let's try 60 minutes. If it's 60 minutes before noon, that means it's 11 a.m. 40 minutes ago is 1020. So 20 minutes times four 80, right? So that's quite close. Like, we're getting closer. And the answer needs to be 20. Well, wait. Four times as many minutes. Does it have to be a multiple of four? Probably, right? So we can... No. <laughs> I despise this. You can feel my brain just deteriorating. So 20 times 4 is 80. 70 got us a little bit closer because 10 times 4 is 40. I mean, they're not close at all. Do I make a bigger, bigger number? Because I think for 10 a.m. we have 120 minutes until noon. So it can't be bigger than 120 minutes. What if I say 80 minutes? So if it's 80 minutes before 
before noon. It's 1040. But 40 times 4 is 160, not 80. But I feel like we're closer, but how did we get a multiple of 2 here? What if it's 100 minutes? <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this. This is how I take math tests. It's horrible. 60 minutes plus 40. So 11 minus 40 minutes is 1020. 20 times 4 is 80. Is it somewhere between 80 and 100? Let's try 90. 90 minutes before noon is an hour and a half. So 10.30. 30 times 4 is 120 again. Not again. We couldn't have gotten that. I'm so confused. I'm gonna try kind of a random number and see what would happen. Like if it was 95 minutes or 90, I'll try like 97 minutes. I wanna see how different the number is. 97 minutes before noon, we have an hour and a half plus seven minutes, so it's 10, 30, 10, 23. If it's 10, to, so 23 multiplied by four is 92. That's closer. 92 is very close to 97. So what if it's 96? 96 minutes to noon. Which is 1024. And 1024 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. There it is. It's 96. Fuck. <sighs> 96 minutes. We only have 50 minutes left. I don't want to double check this, but look, look. If it's 12 noon, 40 minutes ago, okay, so we're going to say, I basically plugged in the answer. So say, I know what I did. Um, so if it's, if, if it's, it's, if I'm saying, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 96 minutes before noon. So 96 minutes before noon. Again, we're going an hour and a half plus six minutes. So that would be 1030 plus six, right? Or 1030 minus six. Fudge. 96 minutes ago. <laughs> Yes, minus six, because it's more time. So that is, again, 11, 1030. And then 1030 minus six is 1024 p.m. or 1024. And then it's 24 minutes past 10. 24 times four is indeed 96. So it's 96. Fudge, I got it right, but... That's how I do math. What number should replace the question mark? Dear God, I wish this was 20 questions. Let's see if we can do some adding or something here. The biggest number we have is 8. Four, four, four. I'm just seeing if anything jumps out at me. Like, 4 plus 3 is 6. Or, sorry, 4 plus 3 is 7. Like, I see the 7 is 4 plus 3. 4 plus 2 is 6. On the first row, we have 4 plus 2 is 6. On the second row, we have 4 plus 3 is 7. On the third row, we have nothing that adds up. So, 
I'm not gonna read into that. Four plus seven should be the same as eight plus five. Six plus four should be the same as five plus seven. Um, wait, then I'm losing a little bit. Wait. <laughs> no, no, no. Because four and seven is not the same as eight plus five, but I'm saying there's like, we're adding one here. Okay, there's a little pattern here. I see a little pattern. I see a little pattern. It's a weird pattern. It's not perfect. The two, the two middle rows, we have seven, eight, four, five, three, two, five, six. So it's like almost going like this. something something though like I'm seeing a little something something and then we also have six seven four five three four okay that's our answer right here four five six seven three four one two I feel like it should be one it's got to be one I don't know why it's one but it's one it's one and moving on, it's one. <laughs> oh dear God! I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want IQ anymore. I don't want IQ anymore. Okay. Insert the numbers listed into the circle so that for any particular circle, the sum of the numbers in the circles connected to it equals the value corresponding to that circle number. Those, the IQ part is understand is like oh, wrapping your head around instructions. No idea if that is an ADHD thing, but very relatable for me is like, I like look at the instructions like this. Like I don't get it. I'm like, what do you want me to do? Okay, so is this top one an example? I think the top one's an example. Insert the numbers listed. So we have the numbers listed here. On the top, it's one, three, four, and seven, and they're already inserted. So I would think this is an example. And then the bottom, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Three is already inserted. But we need to insert the numbers listed so that for any particular circle, the sum of the numbers in the circle in the circles connected to it. So connected by only one dot, I'm guessing. Okay. Equals the value corresponding to that circle number in the list. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I do understand what it wants me to do now. So wherever one is, no matter what it adds up to, it needs to be 12. No matter where three is, whatever. Okay, so they're giving us a freebie with this. So it needs to equal five. So it has to be four and one because I don't think we're counting three. We can't possibly count three, right? We can't count three. So it must be four and one in these circles here. I don't know which one's one and which one's four. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Actually, it doesn't matter, does it? Well, not that it doesn't matter, but like, I can't figure that out yet. So, I think. 
think that the one might be the lower one simply because it has more numbers attached to it and one has to equal 12. So let's pretend the one right below is answer four is one. It has all four numbers attached to it. So let's see, does that equal 12? Two plus three is five. Five plus four is nine. Nine plus five is 14. So it actually can't be one. So the one would have to be up here. If the one's up here and the four is down here, that equals 11, which again, we're adding all the numbers up, but now instead of four, we have one. So we have one plus two is three. Three plus three is six. And six plus five is 11. Okay, so four is answer four and one is answer one. Then, the answer two, so we're, well, we're looking to place three and five right now, so this should be, I think answer three is five, because three plus four is seven, and then three should be five. Ooh, I'm getting ten for that. No, we already placed three. We already placed three. I'm getting confused, so it's actually, we're looking to place two and five. So the five would have to be answer two. And answer, if answer three is two, let's see if this adds up. So that's seven, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that makes sense. Answer three is two. We're looking for two to be nine. That's five plus four. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Answer one is one. Answer two is five. Answer three is two. And answer four is four. <sighs> Which is the odd one out? Me. I'm the odd one out. Thank you so much. I'm like so nervous this is gonna stop recording for some reason. Okay. So. the last one. No, by that logic it would be the first one as well. So I'm looking to see which similarities these all have. So every single one of these squares has the middle to top right line, except for this last one. However, every single one of these squares has the middle to top left line, except for the first one, so it can't be that. Every single one has the middle to left tiny line, except for this guy. And then I would say everyone has the middle to right line, but that's not true for this one, nor this one. So I'm looking at this guy being our weirdo. I think that's it. That is truly one that everyone has. This one. I don't remember what I said. Okay, I think it's that one for some reason. But the middle to right line, two of them don't have it, so it's fine. The middle to left line, this one doesn't have. What was I saying this guy has? Is it this one? Did I just gaslight myself? Not everybody has the middle to right, but everyone else has the middle to left. Except for this one. <laughs> Only a few 
few of them have right angle, like the right angle squares. We could also count the triangles. Everyone has five basic triangles. Are we going this one? I gotta go. You know, I gotta go. I'm sorry. I gotta go. That was question 19, so let me know if you figure out 19. Um, which set of numbers below has the same relationship to one another? as all of the sets of numbers above. I'm very bad at ratios. <sighs> I feel like I just want to divide them. I don't know what else to do. This is only halfway through the test. I'm going to miss so many. I just want to divide it. That's what I want. I don't remember how to do long division. <laughs> 21 goes into 62. Twice? Three times? It, it can't go in three times. It goes in twice. And that's 42. And then 20 at the bottom here. It goes into 209. How many times? Is that is that the answer? Or is that how you do long division? 21 goes into 209 at least 10 times, or no. Because 10 times would be 10. <laughs> so it goes into it 9 times. 189, so it goes into 9 times. 189. Um, and that's 20 left. So, 29.20. Did I do long division right? <laughs> and then let me do long division for one more of those up here. I guess we'll do 31 divided by 473. Goes and do it once. And then we have 16, right? 163, and then how many times does 31 go into 163? I don't know. 3 times 5 is 15. So what's 31 times 5? 166, so it's 4 times. 31 times 4. 124. And then 163 minus 124, we have 159. Right? Okay, so it's like we have 14.39, that have any relation at all to each other? At all? I'm just gonna long division all of these and pick the one that seems closest because I'm I don't even know what else to do at this point. The first and the third are so weird. It's like 11.24 is the last one. I don't think this is helping me at all. At all. Does not helping me in the slightest. I don't know. This is one of the first ones that I really don't know.
educated guess is that it wouldn't be one because we already have a 21. Number two looks kind of correct to me, but like the ratio is quite large, whereas like the fourth one could also be right and the ratio looks a little better. I feel like we should just guess C. I gotta go. I gotta go. If you could get number 20, let me know, but I gotta move. We only have 30 minutes left. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna take that. I hate you. I hate you so much. Divide 300. I don't think you understand how much I hated math. I don't think you understand. By one fourth. And add 10. I have to divide it by one fourth. So that's saying how many times can one fourth fit into 300, right? Is that right? It's the same as multiplying it by four. Or am I so stupid right now? I'm so stupid. Or at least, I, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. That's all. I'm not stupid. I'm just, you know, a little bit. Um, four times three, you know, 12. I think the answer 1,210 is the dumb person answer. Or I'm really overthinking it. Because when you're saying divide 300 by 10, you're saying how many times does 10 fit into 300, right? And the answer is 30 times. How many times does 1 fourth fit into 300? The answer would be 1,200 times. So maybe it's not the dumb person answer. I mean, maybe it is, but we gotta go. I'm just gonna put it, you guys can make fun of me, but I've done worse. I've done way worse. Okay, question 22. Solve the clues, oh heck yeah, to find four six letter words. The letters X, Y, Z represent the same three letters, which spell out a familiar three letter word in each of the answers. Okay, okay. 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 And they're all six letter words. To make attractive or lovable. To give an account. An order of business to fix or attach. Well, too bad my brain is literally fried to death like an egg on a sidewalk. To make attractive or lovable. I really wish there was less than 40 questions. So, to make attractive or lovable would be to... Like, to mess with, to pamper is a six-letter word, but it's not quite. To fuss over, to... To better, to improve, to, you know, to give an account is to like, I was saying like retell or something. To explain. But, um, we're looking for three letters that would make another real word. An order of business. To fix or attach. Man. Uh. So 
one's gonna eat up a lot of time. It's basically gonna be luck, I think. Some sort of order of business could be a task or a project or a an assignment or a, um, duty requirement, you know, to make attractive or lovable. Bruce, you know? But SPR is not a familiar three-letter word, you know? To recall ECA Report EPO is just not that says a familiar three letter word. Testify seven letters. something, to pen it, to write it, to <laughs> 26 minutes of no pressure. I wonder if it's secure to fix or attach, but U R E. It's not a familiar three-letter word. Secure is a good one, though. A polish? B-O-L, no. I don't think we can go back, can we? Like, we have to submit, like, the, a wrong answer. My brain really is fried, too. It's kind of crazy. This is fun, though. Like, highly recommend, although you're getting spoiled for all these. The first one's actually throwing me. I 
feel like the second one is the one that I'd be able to guess the most synonyms for to like get lucky but so far all my synonyms are not close I just think report, testify, you know, recall. Just, you know, like speak, speech. Three letter word, P. Tell a story is to Oh no, this is so upsetting. It's mostly because I'm running out of time, obviously, but I guess that's the part that's the, the point, right? Just click next. I have to write something. Oh, that means they won't let me come back. It's not like I'm gonna finish. Appeal? An app? App, maybe. Like, to make attractive or lovable? Like, it could be appeal. It's not great though. To give it an account would be blank app 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 blank blank happen. <laughs> an order of business blank blank app blank. And then to fix or attach is blank 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 app at the end. Like, I don't necessarily not this, but... Oh, sad. I'll just have to do this. We have to move on. We have to. Oh, that was sad, though. I'm sure some of you got it. Arrange the six sets of three letters into two groups of three to produce two words that are similar in meaning. Tall mid men. Knife, pre, L. Okay, I did one of these on my warm up, so let's see if I can get this again. Alright, I have primitive already. Primitive and elemental. Okay. At least we got one quick. Oh no. Okay. Again, I'm just going to like mentally turn this in my head we turn it negative 90 degrees and it get and the triangle gets pushed out so if we do that again it should be this one <laughs> i don't know why it wouldn't be Like, I'm just seeing the shape and I'm turning it negative 90 degrees and calling it a day. Boom. <laughs> what two words are the most opposite in meaning? Oh. My English teacher is going to yell at me. Matchless, surreptitious, conspicuous, vulnerable, credulous, constant. Okay. I cannot remember what surreptitious really means. 
we know what conspicuous means. That means like very, very blaring, obvious, not hidden in any way. Vulnerable, we know what vulnerable means. Um, they are not opposite each other at all. Credulous. So, incredulous means like you can't believe it. Credulous and it's like, it should mean like very believable. Like you're, you're believing right now. I believe. Well, I'm not sure. And then constant. Um, so constant and credulous would not be a match. Constant and vulnerable would not be a match. Constant is big, so maybe match. <sighs> Obviously, not exactly knowing what, what surreptitious means. I think it means. I think it means like under the table. So it might be surreptitious and conspicuous. I think we have to go with it and like run because most because of the timing. I'm pretty sure that's what surreptitious means, like shady. But if that means shady and credulous means believable, or does it mean you are believing? No, because credulous, if, if you are a trustworthy person, you'd be credible, not credulous. I'm going in this one. What comes next in the below sequence? Okay. We've got these dots, and I see this in motion. We're like, D, 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 D. So we have the circle moving in the thing, so I'm pretty sure the circle should be bottom right. And then we have our little, should be this one. Boom, bam. I can like see it in motion. Hopefully I'm right, but it would be cool if I was. What should replace <laughs> the question mark? Okay, um, um, seven times one is one, one times five is five. And then seven plus, seven plus one plus nine. You know what I mean? I'm seeing something happen here. I'm seeing something happen. Four, two. Oh no, 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 no. It must have something to do with the number across from them as well. I don't have the time or the brain power for this. I think Ben's going to the bathroom because he's like, girl, it's been two hours. Um. Eight, nine, one, nine. Two, three, five, seven. The fact that there's two twos is really drawing me. Like, what do one, two, and four? How would that affect the little three here? And would the five also affect that? Like, why am I just looking at the one? Man, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything, and I'm panicking from the time. I 
I just put six to be like <laughs> let's see if I get it right it's 27 six let me know what's the odd one out I'm done with you gosh I am so done with you this one doesn't have the first line that I'm seeing each one has two branches, two branches over that one is three. Three, three, three. Three, two. This one's kind of weird as well. Okay. I gotta go, you know? 28, I picked the last one. Uh, medieval cry is an anagram of what phrase? Five, three, four letters long. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. That means happy go lucky. Well, what's something that means happy go lucky? Like we should just answer that in general. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it, GV? Happy go lucky. Oh my gosh. Um dun 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 dun. <laughs> like a bottle of sunshine. <laughs> enough for R, blank R blank. We have a V, that's fun. Oh no, I'm so, I am so dead. I'm just starting to make words with V in it because, yeah. Maze. Live? Maybe like life? Live? If we do live. Also have rave. <laughs> I mean, just tell me a phrase that means happy go lucky. Like, girl, oh, I can't even think of that. Light. We don't have the letters for light. <laughs> this is so frustrating. I actually was not expecting this. This is very fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cream? <laughs> I'm just saying, you could make the word cream. Creme de la creme, you know what I mean? Cream of the crop. Um... Dream? Dream? I'm 
dream. <laughs> Nine minutes. Nine minutes left. If I do dream and live, then I only have Y, C, and M left, so it's not that. And then I'm going to have 10 unanswered questions. I can't get over this. The perfectionist in me is withering away. We gotta go, it's not like we're gonna finish this to see if we can get any fast. What well, means happy go lucky? Blank blank blank. Blank 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 blank. Dun 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 dun. I don't know. Dream are live. Hmm. <laughs> Ride. Rider, ride him. <laughs> blank to ride, maybe, but blank. Pass. <laughs> we have to pass. I'm so upset. What number should I play the question mark? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. give myself like 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. 96.5 to 100 is 3.5, right? Yeah. 3.5. Then you go down 3.5 to get to 93. So we're just going down 3.5. 82 minus 3.5 would just be 81. I hope. I'm doing this fast. What's the sum of the all the even numbers that are immediately followed by an odd number? What's the sum of the even numbers that are immediately followed by an odd number? 6. 6. 2. Four. Um, eighteen. I feel like I shouldn't check. I just gotta go. But I'd be so. This one's so easy. I should really check. All the even numbers immediately followed by an odd. So that's even followed by odd. That's even followed by odd. That's even followed by odd. And that's even. So, 6 plus 4 is 10, 6 plus 2 is 8, 18. I just cursed a little bit there, I had to cut that out. What letter is 3 to the right? Of the letter, which is 2 to 
to the left of the letter four to the left of letter H so we can work backwards right so it's So it's three to the right. Oh, shoot. Okay, it's E. I'm glad that we like kept going on some of these because I think we are answering these correctly. What's the missing tile? Why don't you heck off? at one of the four corner letters and spiral clockwise. side or elicitate maybe I have to do elicitate I don't even think that's a real word but boom we gotta go blank is to like again, I'm like thinking. This so we went up. Mm -hmm. So we knocked one. We're going clockwise. No, we aren't. Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. We're kind of well. No, that was still clock. That is still clockwise. We're good. So we're. Going, mm. Mm -mm. It must be this first one. Which is the odd one out? <laughs> Go away. Wow, I hate this. I mean, this one because the other ones don't have a combination. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going because I wanted to at least guess. I don't want any. Tripod, Trivet, Trilogy, Trilby. What is a Trivet again? I mean, obviously one of them, they all mean like three things. Like a Trilogy is three books, Tripod, three legs. I can't remember for the life of me what a Trivet is. I don't know what a Trilby or a Triam is. Like, should I write Trivette because that's the one I recognize? Yeah, sure, why not? I think I'm wrong, though. This is a joke. Find five consecutive numbers in the list that total 21. You can't give this to me with 30 seconds left, you beast. Six, two, one, four, seven. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's only twenty. Dang. Oh man, and we didn't see the last one. Did I get that right? Six, two, one, four, seven, or something like that. Yeah, it was only twenty. If that was the numbers. All right, so I have some regrets, but 
that was so much fun. I do not think that was very good ASMR. Way more stress inducing, probably. But it says that we have 28 days. I'm filming this in January and I won't post it till I get the responses back. And we have to see if we pass. <laughs> okay, I'll stop recording that now. How do I stop? Stop. Thank you so much for watching. This is one of my longest videos, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Um, but I'll be back with my results, and thank you so much for joining me. That was terrifying. Hello everybody. I am back about probably like a month later. Um, I just shot a little ad read and then I decided that it was time to show you my results. I got my results about a week ago and I thought I wasn't going to get them because they did not register my final two answers. I did, obviously we missed question, I think it was question 40. We missed question 40. I, I ran out of time. I thought they would just mark it as nothing. But I got an email almost instantly saying that because I didn't complete the test, that it would be an automatic fail and I wouldn't get a score. So I was like, I did not just spend two hours and my maximum brain power to not get graded on this dang thing. Long story short, I did send an email. They were like, oh no, no, no problem. Like your score is coming to you. Um, you can either submit your final questions or you can just mark them as nothing. And I was like, well, mark them as nothing because I ran out of time. You know, that was my fault kind of thing. However, they did say my final two answers weren't submitted, which is kind of disappointing because if my memory serves me right, we did answer question 39, but I doubt it was right anyway. I think we were rushing. Anyway, I'm sure you just want to know. You probably skipped to the end to find out. <laughs> IQ test result. Certificate of Intellectual Achievement. This is to certify that GB ASMR achieved an IQ test score of 140. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what this means. And I think you have to note that it says an IQ test score. It's like, is this my IQ? Is 140 my IQ? Or is this just what I scored on your IQ test? Like, is that the same thing? It didn't really come with any other papers, or if it did, I only kept this. So I googled it, and it honestly is a little bit all over the place about like what do the different IQ numbers mean. I found a site, Very Well Mind, that has 130 to 144 being moderately gifted, whereas 145 to 159 would be highly gifted, 160 to 179 exceptionally gifted, 180 and up profoundly gifted. So I was like, okay, great. I'm above average, I'm above above average, I'm in moderately gifted, and I was like, I'm, I'm pleased with that, all things considered. Um, this same site says that the average IQ score is between 85 and 115. 60% of IQ scores fall within one standard deviation of the mean. That means that the majority of people have an IQ score between 85 and 115. But then I'm like looking up like, okay, what's an IQ of 140 mean? And to be honest, I'm not really sure. All I can say is, I'm actually pretty surprised because I always uh, just assumed I could never do like any of those pattern solving stuff, so I would give up quite easily. So it was nice for me to sit down and be like forced to think through it by myself. No one could help me. No one could give me the answer. Like just think for a second. So I think my testing, like it took me a long time, but I got to more answers than I thought I would. Um, but all in all, very fun. 
loved taking it. Um, I have no idea if this means anything at all, but we're probably like two and a half hours into this video and I should probably call it. You can just call me 140 from now on. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. <laughs> good night, everybody. Sleep well. Big brain. Big IQ. IQ means nothing.